Hi guys, welcome back. This is another episode of the best Android apps of the week. And today I'm going to show you some of the apps that are really very exciting. You should be trying that out. And most of them are free, except one which is very negligible. But I hope you're gonna like that app too. So I'll be using two phones for the demo today. This is OnePlus 3 running Android Nougat Beta, and this is the Google Pixel XL, which is running the latest of the Android 7.1.1. So let's get started and see those apps. So our first application is called Send Anywhere. So this is a multi-platforms file transfer application with a different concept of a unique key so unlikely if you transfer with NFC or Bluetooth you need to first pair it that one and you need to search and turn on the Bluetooth if you're using Wi-Fi sharing then you need to depends on you know pairing all the stuffs but this is very simple application let me give you guys a quick demo first so if you open that application here's a UI overview so this is a free app with some advertisement built in there so you got all the it will actually browse all the media files and you can click on this receive and send you can directly send files from here you can uh, show the activity going on so and also i'm just going to open here on both the phones and along with that i am also running it on my computer so that you can get to know uh, how to share the files in all the platform so suppose i want to send this file here so this is the file i want to send all right so i'm just going to click here send button so what it will do it will create a unique key and this key is valid for 10 minutes you can either uh, any devices here you can scan the qr code if you cannot type so this key is valid now i'm going to click on the receive file so if you are on computer if you are on phone whatever it is there if you just install this application click on the receive button once you is there you just type in the input key field if i just type 316082 so click on the receive it will start receiving the file all right so it's trying to check take a bit of time you can see file is received immediately so on an average i will say the transfer of the file is somewhere around to 1.5 to 2 mbps per second so uh, it may take 5 to 10 minutes for example if you have 1 gigabytes file our next application is called notepad plus so it's kind of you know it's sketchpad if you want to type something uh, for example if you create a new notepad so it will be similar to like that so once you start so some configurations done close so this is what you will create the blank page to show you what kind of page you want suppose i just created this uh, roulette paper right so this is like your paper copy clipboard so if you want to type something just type here hi and you can select the ink and the color and the size suppose i want to have red so i just type this yellow sorry orange uh if you want to have a marker say purple so here's a purple if you want to erase that so you can see you can easily select the eraser and can do that and also you do have option of creating a one shot so let's type something again so red type something all right now you can if you want to have a direct font base so you don't want to mess up with you know handwriting so you can type it similar hi so it will take a lot of fonts are there you can adjust the size you can see so it just took your size and it came here's the one you can easily read in that and if you want to have some pictures to be attached you can easily attach some pictures suppose i just attach this picture so this one comes here and you can easily now share it to a gallery or whatever you can do that and you can clear the pages you can cut each object so it's kind of guys a very simple paperwork that you can do next application is touch circle clock wallpaper so it is unreleased app that means uh, uh, it can grow it have a lot of bugs but uh, it's working quite nice i don't have any problem so once you open that now you might have seen that uh, this is kind of stuff that i have in my phone so if i just click here you can see this is right now a smiley it shows the time and it shows your calendar and it has some optional you know a code of the day that you might check that out so and you can create anything here the background this is sky this is mountain and this is the funny color so you can easily go and change the things you want click open so it has a layout and you can actually change the way where you want to have it a smaller bigger and you can change the appearance which color do you want so to unlock all the features you can just buy that out in 35 rupees and it supports a lot of gestures too next application is called snap swipe drawer 
so this is for the persons who really create a lot of widgets and dependent on that and since widgets can be created only on the desktop like here you can see so you need to visit each time to you know if you're working on some application you want to get some data you came back here then you're going that so it's pretty annoying sometimes so here's the solution if you use this application uh, you can create a quick shortcut like you have notification panel you can create uh, in this way so i will show you guys how so this is how the ui looks like so whatever widgets you want to create you just create that say i just created google keep i need to take a lot of notes anytime if i find something whatsapp chat some particular person i'm chatting so you can go to preference you can uh, activate here in which place you want you want left side you can see red if you want center to or if you want either side you can configure so i'm righty so i'm just taking this because i need to swipe the notification from here so i just taken left so i created my widget say i'm on youtube i'm doing some stuff all right and now i want to have quickly to my quick notes so i will swipe from here you can see i got quick notes i will click here it will create a new note or if you want to chat to your favorite person like your girlfriend your boyfriend whatever who is watching so you can just tap it here and can send some message so it's gone right so you can do it that way and it's pretty easy you can see swipe from here you will get your quick shortcut here. so whatever widgets you are accessing from desktop you can create as a notification toggle the last application for today is called picture so in short it's a combination of text plus picture so if you guys have used your old symbian phones so you might have seen that or any other feature phone which runs 360 so it had a lot of you know uh, text based emojis you can see you can create things so this gives you all because if you take any default application say whatsapp so it doesn't give you that much number of uh, you know beautiful uh, this unicode emojis so for example if you just want to send somebody some anger so you see a lot of uh, good things are there so just click something and you can easily share it so if you just click share it you can send here and it comes here directly as a send so it should come to my phone you can see this is how it does it looks like so that's it guys pretty much for this video i hope you guys like this videos and applications don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like that this is sarup i will catch you guys in next video have a great day